so look i'm on youtube a lot just like y'all man i'm always looking at new jump shot videos always looking at bad videos man because at one point in time i was terrible at shooting in nba 2k23 i, I almost got to the point where i ain't gonna lie i was about to like kind of uninstall this mug and be like you know what maybe this 2k just ain't for me but after a while, man, that competitiveness started kicking out. I was like, no, man, I'm going to learn how to shoot in this game. And one thing I figured out and one thing I looked at every time I watched a jump shot video or a badge video is that nobody was really giving you the sauce. When I mean the sauce, I mean really telling you how to find out what type of shooter you actually are because it is a science yo it is very much a science to this shooting thing in nba 2k23 and so today i'm going to give you guys the sauce i'm gonna teach you guys how to actually figure out what type of visual shooter you are what type of release shooter you are and i'm telling you by the end of this video you will leave a better shooter the thing is though guys you cannot skip around on this video because is steps it is definitely going to be steps and they're all going to make sense by the end of this video to where rather your meter is on or your meter is off you are going to be a strapper you're going to green everything you're going to go off no matter if your meter is on or off but there are things that you have to do so without further ado we're going to get into the video all right, so the very next step, guys, the very next step I need you to do is to turn off your meter. That's right, turn off your meter. Just turn off your meter and go to the Gatorade facility. Now, I know what some of you think of easy. I, I, I like to shoot my meter on. I like to shoot my meter on. No, listen to me, man. Turn your meter off, all right? If your meter's already off, again, keep it off. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Gatorade facility and we're going to put up some shots. Now, the goal of this part of, of figuring out what type of shooter you are is just to see what feels natural to you when you shoot your shot. When you shoot your shot, what feels natural to you? All right. And I need you to make note of every shot that you take around the court. I need you to make note of all of them, all the jump shots you take. I need you to say, hey, VZ, over here, I make a bunch of earlies. Over here, I make a bunch of earlies 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 everywhere over the court you're just making note of how many lates how many slightly earlies all of those things based off of just you shooting your shot without a meter on now this is very much this is very very much important y'all because again this goes into the sauce that the people don't tell you when watching these jump shot videos this is the sauce this is the sauce okay so so once you shot a bunch of jump shots around the court, man, and you got a good enough sample size to know and say, hey, VZ, like I'm shooting a bunch of earlies or VZ, I'm shooting a bunch of lates. This is where the controller settings becomes genius. This that it is a really, 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 really great tool for NBA 2K. And you this is why I told you you got to turn your meter off because we all have rather we're trying to jump shot for the first time or we're trying a new jump shot, old jump shot, whatever the case may be. We all know what feels right we all know what feels like hey man i need to let this shot go right here like it just looks like it makes sense to let the shot go right here or it makes sense to let the shot go right here and so when you have that feeling that means that something in the animation is triggering that for you it's rather it's the when the ball touches his head when he flicks his wrist when he points his toes down whatever the case may be it's something that you're looking at that's telling you hey that that feels good i, I should let that shot go right there but if you find yourself shooting a bunch of earlies or lates based off of that feeling then that means that the animation needs to be either slowed or or slowed down or sped up so this is where you go to your controller settings and that's where you adjust it based off of what you've been shooting the most so if you're somebody that has been shooting a bunch of uh very early slightly early or earlies you need to put your jump shot on the opposite setting which means that you need to be putting yours on late or very or late or very late if you're somebody that has been getting a bunch of lates or slightly late or very late you need to put your jump shot controller settings on early or very early now i know what you're thinking oh visa that doesn't make any sense why would i do that if i'm messing up my jump shot guys it makes sense and the reason it makes sense is because think of it like this when you're going to a party right or you're going somewhere and you're running behind you don't go slower right you go faster you speed up 
it's the same thing that if you're somewhere early and you don't want to be the first one there you end up slowing down and so it's the same thing with your jump shot controller settings you need to do the opposite of whatever your meter is telling you to do so for me i always got a bunch of lates i always got lates i was like yo man what the fuck like why how is this shot late and i sped up my jump shot controller settings and now i just shoot my shot perfectly every single time almost every single time because i knew what felt right to me i was like yo man nah like how do i keep doing this like something <clears throat> either the jump shot the jump shot animation or something is off because that should be green it should be green why is it not green and it's because your animation is off for what feels right to you now this is different from from basically uh changing your jump shot in the jump shot meter that's different you're speeding up and you're speeding up or slowing your jump shot based off of other things basically uh what what you like and what you don't like that's different but you can still control how the animation looks and feels to you through your controller settings and so that is one of the main things that people talk about that you should do or work on when you're shooting your shots is learning what controller settings because i feel like honestly that's more important than the speed of your actual jump shot is knowing what feels right to you and so right now i'm shooting a bunch of slightly early so i'm sitting there like okay maybe i need to slow my shot down a little bit but then i just focus on where my visual cue and that's another thing that you want to look at as well all right so the last and final part of this video man is talking about visual cues now every jump shot has this visual cue and it's one of the reasons why a lot of people are running lamello kyle kuzma some people are running kevin durant mostly everybody is running oscar robson as their uppers because those jump shots and those bases have really really great visual cues now based off of your controller settings you have your well your green window is somewhere within that animation based off of where you have that very early early late or very late if you have it at very early or early your visual cue is somewhere to around the beginning of the animation and if you have it towards late or very late yours is towards the end of the animation and when you choose those controller settings you will see that your animation looks slower but the shot release timing is the same okay so here we go here as you can see as it's the animation looks a little bit slower right because i have it on late as you can see it's like a very quick i mean it's a very floaty looking animation so flick of the wrist very floaty it's gonna get slightly early hold it gonna hold it a little bit longer and now i'm getting a hold so here we go that got a little bit boom there you go all right so now if i go out and go to uh very early you'll see that the animation is a lot more fluid it's a lot more quicker which is telling me that i need to release my uh my shot early on in the animation very early on in the animation even though the shot timing is the same it's just the animation is going to be a little bit more fluent so as you can see i'm going to go to the same spot it's the animation is just going to look a little bit quicker as you can see so i'm going to go back again Right, the animation it's like late so i gotta get used to it because i was holding it hold on so there you go see right there right when the ball touches the forehead it's a flick right there at the forehead right at the forehead, forehead and i missed it oh there we go so as you can see when it was on late it was like a flick and then now that i have it on very like at what well, and when it was on the other setting it was late it was at the flick of the wrist and then now that i have it on very early it's like right when the ball touches the forehead almost as you can see and now that i got the timing back it's green oh it's just green so these are the tips man that's off i could tell that was off so you know these are tips man these are the things that's going to make you a really really great shooter in nba 2k man it's going to take a lot of practice it's going to take a lot of fine tuning and you're going to have to sit there and practice guys you're going to have to really sit there and, and and learn this stuff because again there's also other factors that's going to go into this obviously latency players playing defense on you different things like that but once you learn it once you get it down to a t-man you'll be strapping and then once you know your jump shot without the with the meter off once you turn the meter back on everything is going to feel right to you you're going to be able to look at your jump shot and be able to and say yo this is this is where i'm supposed to release it you're going to feel more confident in your jump shot you're not going to feel like your meter made you're going to feel like you know your jump shot you just like having the meter on you know what i'm saying and that and that's key that's very important because you know some people are completely meter made like they just do not know their jump shot like at all 
even you know same jump shot same everything you turn the meter off and they're just bricking everything and so with this you now know your jump shot i hope this helps you guys i hope this makes you guys some better shooters man because this is the stuff that people aren't really teaching you they're just giving y'all jump shots and telling y'all to try badges and not really telling you this type of stuff so again if this video helps you send it to some friends man leave a like on this video let me know in the conversation that this helps and i hope to see y'all in the next video man i'm gone